with caution. What is up drunken fighters and welcome back to another caution video. This time we're going a little bit more in depth on a move that I have talked a little bit about before in my previous videos but so far didn't seem to have that much use and that is back HP also known as 4 HP particularly this one now this is an interesting move because it is, you know, it was a little bit weird and the, the, the first thing we figured out, for example, if that it can work for shimmies, uh, it is minus 3 on block, it isn't that great, and on hit, it doesn't lead into anything on, on that, it's like one frame advantage, so it's not really that great. So, where can we see some good utilities in this move? Well, this move ha actually has some interesting properties, and that's because how the move actually works. So, in the example that I'm showcasing here, this was um, credits to Hudson, who has used the hitbox modification that you can see here. And so, what you actually are seeing here is when the animation starts, you can see that Jamie's hurt box is actually lingering back when this move is applied. If you look here at the level 3 variant of it, because at level 3 this move completely changes, you can see that this hurt box goes back even more. So that means we can actually punish certain moves from a specific distance that are normally not doable with regular moves. Now, um, I got some uh, some, shook, um, some examples here that you can use for... It works in, in defense and works on offense. So let's start with offense. So let's say... Kenny's gonna try and do crouch medium kick into DR because that's what, you know, it's a pretty common move to do after a specific range. So what I figured out is you can do any any triple light string into back HP and you will be able to punish the crouching medium kick. So, to give you guys the example first, as you can see, we've all known this one before, I've used this one before, but sometimes I like to go for jazz because... Um, jabs would put you there we go so you can go for a fourth one you know, with this with this particular string and actually be able to s interrupt uh, the see it does because it doesn't work with another standing light kick doesn't work with another crouching light punch it only works with the crouching light kick so to cut this one in half if we do three of these you can see that we're getting hit by the crouching medium kick. However, as you can see, we can actually punish this move using back HP. And on punish counter, this gives us five frames of advantage. So that means we can link a standing light kick or we can go into the target combo. Also, otherwise, you know, it is quite common that we want to go for target combo if we have one drink level. So, beautiful to punish, target combo, Light kick, arrow kick, and we've got our safe jump going in the corner. And if not, we can go for double dash mid screen. Uh, regardless, we have the pressure, we have the advantage. If you do not want to go for pressure instead, you can do that as well. You go for the heavy one, and you can get that drink level out. Anything like that, you can also spend DR, whatever you want to do. The point is, it actually works to with punish moves that are normally not able to do that. However, this can also be used on defense. So imagine, I am pretty sure y'all have seen this before, when you're playing against the Ken. So as you can see, triple jab, crouching medium kick, and he's going for a DR. As you can see, if I'm crouch blocking, you can see that the third jab actually hits. So what would happen if I just actually... There we go. If I try to mash, the third button will get me... And he can go from there. If I try to punish, if I try to with after the three lights, I also get punished. So, but look what happens if we go for back HP. So the same situation can be applied defensively. So, tr so try and experiment with this move as well because it has a lot more use than you would first imagine. 
Now that is not all. There have been some more discoveries. I was working on this video um, for quite a bit, but during that time, some people have released some tech as well. And I'll just compile it as usual. So this one is a very interesting one as well, because in DR, you can actually, it becomes plus one. Um, but the very difference is with, for example, Forward HK and Standing Fierce is that the following can happen. If you go for Standing Fierce, as you can see, you're out of throw range. Same can be said for Forward HK in DR. However, you can actually be in throw range after this back HP. As you can see here, I have put the dummy on Jamie in this case on DR Standing Fierce. And we also have used DR into back HP. So let's start off with this one. And you can see that I can actually be react to this and punish that pretty easily, right? If I'm looking for it, of course, you know it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty easy to do. Anything like that. However, look what can happen if you actually use back HP DR. There it is. So as you can see that the move itself actually stops the DR a little bit in its tracks. Meaning that when we're trying to get that reaction out with crouching medium kick, we can actually get jabated and eat a punish instead. There we go. So as you can see, I'm actually just doing it on reaction the same, the, the exact same way I would do this for standing fierce, for example. And then I can get it. But with that same reaction, if I'm actually looking for to punish that in the same way, I can get punished for it. So that's why this move has is also really good in that regard. So yeah, both offensively, defensively, and in DR, this move is a lot better than we first anticipated. Alright, so who has been in this situation before? Just Honda abusing you while you're in burnout. He's trying to cross you up as well. Anything like that. And you're, you're trying to cross a DP, for example, but you're not getting it. You know, I, I have definitely been in this situation before. And sometimes it can it, it can just be very stressful, especially if you're not ready for it. It, it can be hard to do cross cut on reaction, and even then, you know, sometimes you can mess it up. There we go. So in this case, in this situation, you can actually go for BHP as well. There it is. Actually dodging the butt slam. And you know. In some situations, like, you'll be easy to get the punish, but in some cases, when it's gonna cross you up, it's gonna be really, like, that, those ones, like, those really strict ones, if you time it correctly, there it is. Like, that's the ones I'm looking for. Look at that. Mm. No more butt slamming for this good man. Now I'm gonna showcase it here in slow motion. Now if you look at this closely, look how tight this actually becomes. And look how easy it can be with a simple input to actually dodge the butt slam. So this is some really good tech as well. Now, and it also doesn't stop there because like I said, back HP changes in level three. So like I showcased before in Hudson's uh, hitbox, little clip here is that you can see that lev the level 3 back HP even goes back even further especially the hitbox and you actually cover a little bit more range as well going forward so you can utilize the move in every same situation as before except for DR so as you can see it does create more pushback so you can't use it in that regard However, the move becomes pretty good if you're actually, if you're finishing to get the target combo. Because now in this situation, we can actually get the target combo. Let's put them on uh, three jabs. So 
So in the corner, this target combo can be actually very useful as well. And with that being said, I have found a couple of things that you can actually do that could help you get some more meaty setups and all that great stuff. So if you manage to get the target combo finisher in the corner, whether it be from, you know, like going for a shimmy, for example, I can show this quickly as well. I almost forgot to showcase this. You can actually use this with both versions. So the regular one and the level three drink level variant. You can actually go for shimmies in this case too. Need to remind myself to put it on block before you continue. That would be helpful. There we go. So as you can see, you can dodge throws with this. You can go into level 2, for example. You know, do whatever you want to do after that. Or you could go straight into level 3. That can work as well. Um, you know, it is still pretty decent damage. Do something like that, for example. I could have used that into that, but I was in drink level 2, so I didn't want to make it count. But yeah, that's, that is stuff you can actually do. You can go for the shimmy, and uh, even with this one, like you can see with the regular one, it works as well. And then you can get your, your first drink level, for example, whatever you want to do, right? You can go for setups, you can go for anything what you want to do, and yeah. Just a really good tool for shimmies too. But enough about shimmies. If we actually get the target combo, there's a lot of interesting stuff you can do. So let me just set up the... Let's go for a crouching light punch on the first available block that he that we can do. Let me put on Leash Ring Drink Levels. Let's go for that. And let's do say status. So from here on out, there's a couple of things you can do. Now in my very first video, uh, I think my very first or even the second, um, you can actually go for, damn it, I messed it up. Status, replay. So what you can do in this situation, there's a couple of meaties you can do. So the first one is actually DR into standing fierce. So on block, on hit, you can see that it was already a plus six, which is one frame more than than you normally get. And, oh my god, I, sometimes, man, you're like, you think you got everything under control, but you don't. There we go. So as you can see, it becomes plus two on block, so it gives you like an extra frame advantage, meaning you can actually go for a standing light kick. Um, instead of, for example, the crouching light punch, whatever you want to do. So, uh, but other, of course, there's a lot of different things you can do as well. You can also go for, um, if we go for a standing light kick, you can see that we are plus six on their wake up as well, meaning that we can beat them with a meaty command grab. So if we put the dummy on wake up reversal, go for crouching light punch here. There we go, we turn it on. We go for replay safe status. Need to get the light kick out though, that's pretty important. Otherwise, there we go. So you can see I'm getting the counter hit after whiffing the standing light kick. Beating out his crouching light punch. And then we can do anything like that. So, yeah, that's also really good. Um, what, another thing that you can do is you can also decide to go for a whiffed crouching light punch into a standing medium punch. And then you get a meaty as well. So as you can see, my advantage there becomes plus eight. So once again, that means we can actually uh, lead it into, we can also turn it off. So, you know, it's, it doesn't count as counter hit. But I can showcase you as well, how much frame advantage we actually get. As you can see on block, it becomes, it, it suddenly becomes plus three. So that's two frames more than we normally get, meaning that if we don't show this as counter hits and we go for replay status, you can see that we get plus seven. So that means in that situation, we can actually once again get a crouching medium punch link or we can get a crouching medium kick link as you can see. 
Uh, like I said before, Crouching Medium Punch does more damage, and you're close enough to get it, so always go for Crouching Medium Punch if you have the chance. So after the target combo, you can do something very, very interesting. Now before I go into this, let me just put it off for, for a slight second here, and I'm gonna talk about DR Crouching Fierce. So DR Crouching Fierce is usually being used in combos as it doesn't really serve a purpose in uh, on block. And that's because as you can see, even with Drive Rush, it becomes minus four. So regularly it's going to be minus eight on block. So minus four is still really, really bad. But look what happens if we actually use this after the target combo. So you can see that it hits really high up and it actually leaves up on zero frames. So we actually managed to take four frames away with that Crouching Fierce meaty. So you could be like, yeah, but it's zero frames. It's still really, really bad. It depends. Um, after this crou D DR and Crouching Fierce, I would advise you to actually go for Crouching Medium Punch afterwards. And in, in, in Ken's particular case, this means both things. One, it punishes, it punish counters his wake up jabs. And two, you will be able to go for Crouching Meat. You will be able to punish his Crouching Medium Kick as well. Now let's turn on Crouching Light Punching Crouching Medium Kick. Go for the setup. So you can see that the, the jab doesn't go far enough to, to, to hit us, but we can punish counter that. And if you would go for the Crouching Medium Kick, as you can see he tried there, we actually interrupted because his Crouching Medium Kick is 7 frames and our Crouching Medium Punch is 6 frames. So really interesting what you can do there. Now, in case they, they could use one more option, and that is the only option that beats it out for Ken, and that is Standing Light Kick. So in case the Standing Light Kick comes out, uh, one thing you can do is go for a Crouching Jab instead. You can do something like that, for example. Something like that. You know, it's all up to you. Uh, so yeah, if they, if they do decide to go for Standing Light Kick instead, that is something you can do. If not, then your crouching medium punch will work. It is not the most ideal, but I thought it was a very cool way to make use of uh, the DR crouching fierce. And as you can see, we can also once again go back to our back heavy punch when they use anything like that. So you can actually repeat this process. And I am pretty sure, I haven't tested this, but I am pretty sure it would also work with Crouching Medium Kick. Yes, it does. So, you know, it's it's a pretty cool thing to do, and it, it I'm, I'm pretty sure that they are going to press a button afterwards, because Crouching Fears on Block is such an unsafe move that they'll be like, Oh man, this guy just messed up. I am going to challenge that whatsoever. And then you just rock it out like that, because, like, it looks... It looks so weird, right? If you look at it, it's it like it's like oh my god, this guy is punishable as hell. And then you're like, psych, I am not. And you can re repeat this process, or you can just you know you can do something like this, go into that, go into that, then go into that, for example. You know you can do whatever you want to do, anything like that. So yeah. Um, really cool situation as well. Thought I included it and I thought it was really funny. Alright, and that is it for now. I know this one is a little bit sh more short, but I was actually hoping to share this with you guys and to, to give you guys some inspiration on trying this out. And I really hope, really want to see you guys come up with some cool stuff uh, for actually for me to use as well. Maybe you guys can figure something out that I haven't figured out yet with the back HP and that I could definitely implement in my own playstyle. But... Long story short, I just wanted to show you guys that back HP can be a lot more useful than at first glance. So hope you guys learned something today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, please, please like, share and subscribe. You guys have been doing amazing and I'm always only hoping to get more out of this because the more we get, then the more Jamie tech we can share amongst our fellow drunken fighters. But for now, don't forget, as usual, to stay cautious and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.